we are back in the world of hardcore Diablo 2. I've done a little bit of off-stream grinding just to kind of make this process a little less daunting. Um, summary, just did lower Karas runs. Got um, quite a bit of money. So I'm going to gamble for amulets. Um, but as, in way of progress, just armor upgrades, I guess. And I did craft a necklace, which has given me... Yeah, I mean, the resists are, are better now. Um, I got a troll's nest now for this. And then as far as gear goes, like, I've got stuff. I'm preparing stuff for farming, pretty much, so. I'm trying to get this completely gemmed up. Um, I want to suck at this. This could be an upgrade, but for now it's not that big of a difference and I'm that concerned. I've got my smoke, finally. It's looking good. Um, I also stashed a bunch of stuff on a mule character, so... That's why a lot of it's gone. That pretty much is it. Level-wise, I'm, I think, three levels higher than what I used to be. So I'll do a little bit more of these runs just to open up the stream. Kick back for a bit, and then we'll progress in Act 5. Because there's still stuff I want to get from this. Um... I mean, primarily the gems, but it would be nice to get a high rune. So, yeah. We'll definitely progress today. Just, for Act 5, I want things to be as close to as, uh... I wouldn't say final, but getting there. Yeah, my resists are a lot better. Fire resist is now the highest, which it probably should be. But getting lightning resist up is a priority as well. Okay, ow. Um, but it's going well. I think we'll make the necessary progress to kind of get through this last area. Two points that I'm concerned about. Um, yeah, I mean, the finale is one, but the other one is that dick in Act 5. The corpse explosions. That could very well be the end of the run at that point. That's going to be clench. I mean, otherwise, uh, yeah, cruising along. I have all the important gear backed up now. Maybe if I feel like it, I'll, what I'll do, I'll do farming for a bit here, then do some progression, then go farm again, and yeah, I mean, it's going well enough, I think. In other news, I, uh, yeah, I talked about getting vanilla Diablo 3 running on a PS3, and I got it running on a PS3, so... That's done. It works. So, we'll be doing that. I checked the patch that came with it, and it's like... It says console patch 1. So... Which I don't think equates to version 1. There's probably some weird equivalent. I know that they weren't 1 to 1, so... I can't carry anymore. But it's definitely as vanilla as you can get. I can't carry so... That'll be an interesting, uh, in an interesting thing to do. So that's going to be set for, uh, the long weekend I have. 
But yeah, money, money ain't a thing. <laughs> It doesn't take as long as you would think to get this much money. Doing this over and over again. You get quite a bunch of items worth 35k. I also read that they're gonna start a private beta for Diablo 4. Which, they're gonna send invites to it. I doubt I'll get it, but the criteria is pretty much... They're looking for people that have played a lot of uh, endgame Diablo 3, 2, and Immortal. Not necessarily all, all of them, but... I definitely played a lot of Diablo 3 endgame, and this, I guess, you would classify as endgame. So, I don't know. Australia's usually excluded out of these, so... Yeah. If I get a hey, that'll be cool. I won't be able to talk about it, but it'll be cool. As they're doing the whole NDA thing, but yeah, he's hoping. Yes. Not in town. What do you need? I don't know. We'll do this for like a half hour or so, and then yeah. Proceed to Act 5. <laughs> the PS3 I got was actually quite a steal. I got it for 50 bucks, which, considering how much the other PS3s are going for on eBay, it's not bad. And it's in pristine condition. Like, I was surprised at how well taken care of it is. The controller feels weird. Like... I forgot what those controllers felt like. But aside from that, everything else is, is all good with it. I almost uh, panicked because they didn't have... I forgot about this minor detail, but those consoles, the ones that had HDMI early on, they didn't have a way to turn off HDCP, which is the stupid DRM thing that they did so uh movies could play blu-rays oh sorry consoles could play blu-ray movies jeez and i was like fuck how do you turn that off looked at uh an article about it nope can't turn it off you're gonna have to use component cable i'm like shit um but then i remembered this thing that i was taught in university to bypass said protection was a simple little device <laughs> that I do have. Not for that purpose, but just coincidentally. Um, yeah. Anyway, it, it worked. Um. Diablo 4 looks insane if that is what it is. Yeah, it is. It definitely is. There's no question about it. But I guess the thing is, you won't find... You won't find prolific streamers talking about it because it's a leak and they wouldn't want to damage their relationship with Blizzard. Plus, they're doing a private beta, so I would imagine that's why people aren't talking about it, because it, they don't want to hurt their chances. So, yeah. It's real, it's just a question of how old it is. It could be very old. But the impressions it gave me is, yeah, it's like halfway in between 
a modern D2 and then Path of Exile sort of mixed in. There's a lot of stuff that uh, I noticed has kind of gone back to D2 style. Which makes sense, it's not surprising, like, with D3 all people wanted was a modern D2. And they were kind of uh, frustrated that that's not what they got. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with that kind of stuff, is you don't really know how long it's been. It's kind of crazy what's happening with GTA 6, just... The armchair developers have, <laughs> have come out. Like, they're critiquing that shit, and they don't understand... I mean, okay, some of them, they know what they're doing, right? Content creation. They know damn well what they're doing. They're... They're fueling the fire, so to speak. Right? But then there are others where it's like, you do understand that um, game development, if they haven't shown it off, it's pro this is probably the reason. It's because, like, there's placeholders, there are character models that aren't final, there are things they're experimenting with that might not be well polished or have assets developed properly. And people are treating it like, game trailer announced, oh my god, this game, this looks bad, like, it's, it's just, it's disgusting. It's just like, be happy that you got to see a bit of it early, and shut the fuck up and let them finish the game. When they show an official trailer, then you can bitch all you want. With Diablo, so far, the sentiment has been pretty positive with what's been shown. It seems that community is more understanding of, like, yeah, this is a work in progress. So, yeah. Hail to you, champion. It definitely, the one thing it did for me was, like, make the uh, release window of, like, within the next year to be playable. It's definitely more realistic, like, I can see it. it it's gonna happen, like, next year, they'll probably do public beta. Early next year, I reckon. You can say with the track record with modern games, you can see why some fans would be worried and upset. But the- yeah, but the problem is, like, there's stuff in there that's clearly, like, placeholder. It's so obviously n nowhere near done. And from what I've understood, the footage for GTA 6 that leaked, at least so far, it's all old. So it's, it's like, it's grain of salt stuff. I think, I think it's only human to be concerned, but at the, by the same token, it's kind of like, you gotta understand. That's why they don't show it, because it would just be a constant, just defending that when they're not even done, and they're just gonna waste time defending decisions that aren't even finished. You know? <laughs> Dude, video game communities can be so annoying. You can get some very supportive ones, but then sometimes you get ones that just like... Oh man. Just take a chill pill. <laughs> Honestly. You know Destiny and Dead by Daylight are aggressive. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was around for that, uh, that game, Wilson, the a a action RPG, and it was like, okay, that was bad in the sense that, like, I could understand the frustration of people playing it, because it released in a state that it shouldn't have, in my opinion, right? And that was pretty apparent. They should have not said that that was, like, release ready and gone into early access. I don't know what decision-making... Uh, led them down to that path, right? 
But that aside, the developers and the community managers were genuinely trying. And people were just being obnoxiously toxic. To the point where, like, um, the devs just abandoned the community Discord they were on that they created for the game. And then that got interpreted as, oh, the developers are ditching the game. It's like, no, the developers are just silencing you guys because you're being annoying. It's one thing to be constructive, but you guys are just being assholes. So, you know, that game is getting updated, and there's patches to it. Um, but the developers just don't really engage with, um, like, Discord servers and stuff like that anymore, because it was just, it was counterproductive. And, uh, mental health issues were arising for staff members having to deal with that shit. But, you know, again, saying that some of that was sort of self-inflicted because, dude, that game was so fucking buggy. Playable. But I would have by no means bought it, I guess, if, like, I knew, you know what I mean? I got my fun out of it, and I completed it, and whatever. But there was no late game in it, because it was just bugged. But, yeah, I mean, I feel like I got my money's worth, and maybe I thought one day it could be worth revisiting. But... I definitely, by no means, like... After the initial kind of, oh shit, this is what it is, I was like, ah, but you know what, the... I can see something good here. I can see that this game does have potential. And it does appear like they're genuinely trying. Just some people were expecting, like, an update daily on what's happening. And that's just, I don't know. You can't do that. That's just a little unreasonable. Or, like, you know, not understanding the concept of a time zone and thinking that Oh, they should have staff in all corners of the world, right, re ready to answer questions. It's like, no, dude. <laughs> That's not... Oh, man. Anyway. A lot of people will disagree with what I'm saying, but that's just my opinion. Superior Matriarch Spear. Uh... Ooh. Hold on. Because I think if I... If I give this to Lazaric... Not here. I'm pretty sure it'll roll six. Not here. Wait. Instantaneous is the most satisfying, but is impossible. Yeah. I mean, I I have at least some empathy because whilst I don't develop games, I certainly work with people that develop software and stuff. And whilst it's certainly not to the same extreme, it's kind of like sometimes when things go wrong, just, not in town. you know, the panic and the stress and all that that goes into people that are making that are making stuff, and they generally care about what they're making, right? It's just... It's not great. So, I sympathize particularly with smaller dev teams. It's just... It's not the greatest. <laughs> okay. It doesn't even... It doesn't even make it worth it. It's like... Two attack rating, that's the bonus, really? I already have one of these... But, I guess it doesn't hurt to have a second one in case I don't, like, get the correct thing for it. I don't know. Anyway. Yes? I'm just glad that, um, yeah, from what I saw people... 
Um, the vibe seems to be pretty positive around D4, which good. I was kind of half expecting an almost GTA-like thing. But, nah, it was fine. Hey, Nectar. Hope everything is going well. Uh, I think I'm done here. Yeah, I'm just gonna run around here for a little bit and then I'm gonna move on to progression, you know? Not here. Hello. Not here. Greetings. But yeah, I would have been live a little sooner, but my headset gave me a scare. Not here. It was like it just decides to alert me that there's a firmware upgrade. I'm like, okay, whatever. But then it turns off my headset, and then and then the message is just stuck on the LED. I'm like, what? So it fucking forced me to upgrade my firmware. I'm like, what the fuck kind of headset is this that a firmware upgrade is compulsory? And then the audio settings got undone and I had to reroute everything and ugh. A combination of Windows and Steel Series is just like. I like this headset. It's just the problem I have with it, all the other ones before this one. All the features it had were on a hardware level, if that makes sense. So, like, you had buttons and stuff to kind of do certain things. A simple one I can think of is, um, the other headset had two sound channels, right? So you had one for voice chat and you had one for your desktop audio. And then there was this slider that would, like, make one louder or the other louder on the fly. Pretty cool. So this one has that, but the problem is it goes through the SteelSeries software now, and a lot of the stuff does now. Um, with the exception of a few things. And because of that, like, that everything has to go through that software, I don't know, like, they're just... I feel like they're reaching too much with the firmware upgrade thing, but whatever. Um... What's up? Uh, not a lot. Just wrapped up work. And just decided to play this. I kind of want to wrap up the story on this, hopefully, today. Um, I was playing Fall Guys with Lelo, like, the other day. It was fun. The new season is really good. There's a lot of games in there that are... Yeah, they're genuinely a lot of fun. Grinding time? Uh, not as much as you would think. Like, I think I'm pretty good on that front. I can't carry anymore. What is in here? Ah. I just want to make sure, um, health-wise, I'm good, because... Neolithok, that guy, is scary. Him and his explosion thing. Oh, I'm out of... Okay. I don't know, this is very cheap grinding. <laughs> it's just opening chests that have... Alright, so these chests, in case you don't know why I'm doing this, they have predetermined items in them to the point where there's a table that shows you every single possible combination that these chests can drop. And, uh... What do you need? 
was I gonna say? So, like, there's some very good, uh, runes in them, but of course, like, the odds are, they're pretty low, but not lower than, than, I guess, going and killing monsters, right? It's kind of, like, almost equal. So this area is a very low risk way of potentially getting some good runes to make some good gear. And you also get levels from killing stuff if you're capable of doing it, so it's kind of like... Yes, it's boring, but... It is, uh... It could be pretty good. And if you're doing this in multiplayer, it does... It does, uh, work out pretty well. So, but I'm not. This is all single player solo, self found, whatever you want to call it. It looked like we had a really good time. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I might play a bit more after this, um, because it is pretty fun. And the reward for the battle pass at the end of it is, uh, like this robotic cat outfit. But I imagine that's gonna take a while to get to it. But yeah, my goal here is once if I do get through the story, then I probably won't stream this again. Like, it'll probably fall into me just playing this offline. As I don't think many people would watch VODs of me just grinding repeatedly. Unless I'm talking about something and, you know... Like, uh, do, like I, could, I could do something where I talk about something as I'm playing this and then it could be something worth watching, but... That would require thought <laughs> and coming up with topics and whatnot, and yeah, nah. Maybe a check in every now and then, but I'll be working on like getting this to a, uh, I guess, end game build. But yeah, hopefully over the next few days I get to play again with Lelo. That was fun. For once I brought the random conversation. Oh, okay. You died because... Again, as an archer, you should be... Way back here. But instead, you decide to just get in their faces. I can see why people pick the other, the other one. It's just, I guess I wanted to try different, like... The recommendation is to always go with the melee one from Act 2, but... You can use the Archer, and it gives you an attack speed aura, which I guess could be good later. It's just... The AI is not great. <laughs> she gets way too close. Good day. I've been watching Family Guy, so I got Meg now. Uh, yeah, I don't really need more Sapphire. Although, hang on. I guess I do need one, because I'm gonna... I don't have Ral. My runes are starting to run low. Alright, anyway. Not Dude, is it all right? Okay. I'll do a couple more runs of this, and then I'll move on. I was like, I'll do this for half an hour, but it's all almost been half an hour. Good day. 
not in town. But yeah, I'm looking forward to uh to some time off. As uh, the last time there was a public holiday, it was in June, so it's been it's been a while. This is the lengthy stretch of like no no time off, and then it's all good. There's like at least one public holiday every month. So yeah, I guess what I want to do, since the PS3 arrived in time, I thought it was going to take longer, but the dude sent it through an express courier, because I guess on eBay, they alloc like the seller allocates a certain amount for shipping, and I guess they thought it was going to go to like interstate. So they just s spent the shipping cost on getting it to getting it to me pretty much right away. So that was good. So vanilla Diablo 3, I'll do. I guess during the day, which non-standard streaming time. And then at night, we'll see what we do. Um, I do want to watch some Jim Carrey movies. So that's going to be on the cards this week. Just depends who is around and when. But I want to watch the like Liar Liar. Uh... Oh shit. Nope. Fuck off. That thing was it just would wouldn't give up. It wouldn't go for my Valkyrie. But you know all that stuff. I lost my train of thought, but you get what I mean. Diablo two greater than three. Uh, yeah. I mean, overall, I would agree. There are some elements of this that I I do wish were more like three, but I think as a whole, yeah. I think the problem with three is they just uh, they over overcompensated when they went to Reaper of Souls, and it, it sort of ruined the flow of the game ultimately. Just something that, n I guess, it's a hindsight thing. Like, at the time, it seemed like the best call. And, yeah, it addressed the thing people were complaining about. But then, in the long run, it kind of just made power creep a ridiculous thing. So. They overcompensated when they designed the game market as a cash cow. No, but, alright. Put that aside for a sec, right? I get that, that that was bad, but just hear me out on this one. The fact that that game had those four difficulties, and the four difficulty was... They were good. Like, finishing Inferno felt like a challenge. And you could say that that was because of gear, but I don't, I don't think that's the case. I think, like, if you look at what happened around that point... Sets were nowhere near what they what they are in like Reaper of Souls, where pretty much the set defines the way you play. In vanilla D3, you could design a build around the skills and kind of come any combination you wanted to, right? And I mean that foundation was there, it's just the problem is it was stagnated by monetization, right? I get that. But if Reaper of Souls were, were to have been something where instead of doing what they did, making everything a pinata, effectively, in terms of loot, and just, like, made the, the legendary rates pretty much on par with what they are with Diablo 2, I think that would have led to a better game ultimately.
you put aside by my argument is an extension of their attempted recovery. How are you going to say that before even hearing what I had to say? <laughs> See? That's not listening. I guess what I'm saying is vanilla, vanilla had a better foundation than Reaper of Souls, ultimately. In terms of, like, a, getting to a, a good late game, you know what I mean? Whereas in Reaper of Souls, it's kind of like... It just became this slippery slope. It was like, oh, people aren't finding um, T6 difficult anymore. All right, let's just make it T10 now. Oh, shit, they're not finding T10 difficult. Let's make it T13. Oh, shit, T13's not difficult. Let's do greater rifts where it's infinitely scalable. Oh, after a certain point, enemies are too tanky. Okay, let's nuke some affix it. Like, it, it just... It just was something that was never going to work. It's just... The thing they did was deal with the problem they caused in the first place, which was legendaries aren't dropping. And then they took that to an extreme, because at the time the game was failing, and internally the team was told to move on. Basically. That's what happened. But I don't think Diablo 3 Vanilla was a bad game. It's just one of those things that... It's just unfortunate. Like, I had fun playing it, and I honestly didn't- I wasn't one complaining about the legendaries. I still enjoyed vanilla for what it was, like... I got to play with different skills, I wasn't really told what to do, and... Yeah, like, if I wanted to do certain things, I would try to find certain items. They weren't legendaries. But the legendaries back then were kind of... They weren't that great either. <laughs> it was kind of most of them was stat sticks. Good day. Not in town. When, when everything is said and done, I think I think I enjoyed vanilla more than I enjoyed Reaper of Souls ultimately, for a multitude of reasons, and it kind of extends on why I enjoyed this a bit more. Because it's it's got, like, all that stuff that 3 kind of uh, butchered in, 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 in the interest of uh, making the money auction house, you know, a primary method of getting gear. Let's face it, that's what they wanted. I can definitely see now, like, what vanilla D3 could have been if they just didn't do that fucking shit, basically. But I guess that's the thing, it's like... Some people say that D3 was flawed to its greed, but, like, I look at it from this perspective. If it would have been truly, truly flawed, Inferno would have not been beatable by anyone unless they did stuff on the real money auction house. That to me would have been a completely unsalvageable broken game, definitely on greed. But it wasn't. It's like you could you could finish that game. And you didn't have to grind forever. Like there were ways, it's just it's just you didn't have legendaries, I guess was the thing. It's like you had to get creative and design your builds. Which is, like, I don't know. I guess you cared more about individual item stats, which is more akin to what you do in this game, compared to Reaper of Souls, where it's set item. Pick a set item. I'm just gonna say, like, I don't know. I get why people don't like the game. And I definitely agree that 2 is better, right? But I don't think 3 was nearly as bad of a game as people think it was. That that might be like a, a hot take there, but I'm gonna find out because I'm gonna play Vanilla 3 and see if like my memory serves me correctly. Not in town. But I think, yeah. In a different universe, had they just 
even if they did the real money auction house and Reaper of Souls wouldn't have like made the pinatas basically I think it would have ended up better I don't know Like, there's some things that I, I personally don't like about, too, like the immunities, <laughs> for example. They just seem to be more of an annoying hindrance as opposed to a challenge. And, uh, like, this game is very, very heavily skewed towards range play. Like, melee suffers quite a bit. It's not that it's not viable, it's just... By comparison, you want to be using something that doesn't melee fight to some degree particularly in hell but you know i mean the system's designs like they're they're on point like that there's a reason this game is held in such high regard right the fact that i'm like no matter what gear drops I have some inclination to check it. Whereas in- even with PoE, like, that doesn't happen, it's just... After a certain point, you ignore, like, the majority of loot that drops. I think 3 definitely made some improvements over, like, those sort of, uh, restrictions. But they just kind of- they didn't stick the landing. <laughs> Pretty much. <sighs> if only it was like the o only online restriction wasn't there and it had an offline mode, there would be mods for the game, I guarantee. That would just rebalance it so it was more playable. But, you know, mods, they're, they're bad, right? <laughs> sarcasm. That was sarcasm. I don't know, you'll see. I'll play three. And it'll be fine. I'll have fun with it. And whilst it is flawed, I recognize that. I still have nostalgia for those days to some degree. Three was released in a period where people still held goodwill for Activision Blizzard. I think they held they it was released in the period where they held goodwill towards Activision. People hated sorry, Blizzard. People hated Activision. People hated Activision. I know I did at the time. Because of, uh... A certain... A certain person at the top of the pyramid, let's just say. That was causing pricing... Pricing issues in Australia. That to this day is still a thing, annoyingly enough. I guess people just weren't... Aware of, like, how much influence... They had. They thought that uh, Blizzard was more or less autonomous. I, I did not have that sort of loyalty. Because I didn't grow up with their games. Like, I, I wasn't a PC gamer. I was a console gamer. Up until, like... I don't know the year, but, you know, Modern Warfare, that was the first PC game I bought. Not... To be clear to all those, uh, young people that might hear this. <laughs> the very first release on Modern Warfare, not the remake, remaster, whatever you want to call it. Um... So, you know, I, I had never heard of Blizzard, to be honest. So, there was no l brand loyalty there for me. All there was, was that, um, my friends were excited about it. 
and I had played Titan Quest, which was a game in the genre, and I really enjoyed that. And they were all going to play it. So I was like, all right, I'll buy Diablo. I've heard about I've heard about it. That was my first Diablo game, Diablo 3. <laughs> so I guess that's the other thing is like there is nostalgia there for me because as flawed as it was, it was like this social thing that I hadn't really experienced too much up until that point. Like there were people on every day. It was very easy to get like a group of four. Sometimes you had multiple groups going and people would like post stuff they found and be like, hey, man, I found something useful for your character. Or, like, you'd watch a video of people being able to do Inferno, and you'd be like, man, how the heck did they get to that point? And then you'd, like, see crazy builds that arose, and then... <laughs> that's the one thing I'm looking forward to, is, like, there'll be a lot of skills in vanilla that... that got changed because they were inherently broken. Um... The two I can think of, off the top of my head, um, the monk's original resistance passive, which was, um, you take your lowest resist and then all your resists are your lowest resist. So you just had to stack one resist and then all your resists would be that. That was insanely broken. And then they changed that skill to be, um, what is it? It's like an average now or something. I can't remember. Definitely not what it used to be originally. And then Exploding Palm used to be percentage of enemy's health. But now it's weapon damage. Um, hang on, I'm just checking. I, I know I had a big one here, that, this one. We can replace this one. Blizzard rebalancing is a form of defenestration. You're correct. Hail to you, champion. <laughs> Too much fun. Throw it out the window. Not in town. That's why I say the monk was the best character, because if you look historically at... One, the number of reworks, the number of... N two, the number of nerfs, just... Had the most number of change skills, had the most number of skill nerfs, had fundamental mechanics changed because of just stupid, broken monk builds. It was kind of funny. And uh, I'm gonna play a, a state of the game where, like, all of that shit is back to where it was, and... I'll have the knowledge now on how to take advantage of that stuff. Not in town. Not in town. So we'll see how it goes. From what I understand, the console version of D3 on PS3, the earliest version is 1.03, roughly. Which is as close to as vanilla as you can get, so... That's what I'll be playing. I have not connected it to the internet, so... It has taken whatever game data was on the disc. You're gonna move to lurking, gotta cook breakfast, good talks. All good, all good. Yeah, good chat. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to progression after this run, I think. This whole D3 thing is either gonna be like... I'm gonna have my nostalgia broken, or it's gonna be something where I'll be like, see? This- this wasn't nearly as bad as we remember it. Like, I think the game was fun, it's just... 
unfortunate what happened to legendaries, but I don't think that was the end of the world. Because the one thing that game doesn't have now is, like, taking any combination of skills and thinking about it and then getting gear to go around your choice of skills. Nowadays, the way that game plays is you pick a set and then you find gear around the set and that's... You don't really need to think too much on stats. I mean, there's some things that are a given, right? It's like... It'll always be crit-oriented, it'll always have some semblance of cooldown reduction. But vanilla, it was like, stuff like life regen, for example, was a build you could do. Where you could get it so high that, like, you wouldn't die. Um, I mean, attack speed is a thing, but... Yeah. Well, then there was, like, purposely getting intelligence to get resistance. Stuff like that. I am um, I'm going to look at that, because that could be useful. Like, I'm going to be going off memory. Not a whole lot of luck on... Okay. Uh, what does it do? This one does have the advantage of replenishing quantity, but... Ugh. This does bonus damage to uh, demons and then it has the attack rating. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'll keep it as a backup, but other than that, the one I have is definitely better. Alright. I still find it hilarious with the HDCP thing. <laughs> just like, I wonder how much money went into developing that technology and then it was just overcome by like a 15 to 20 dollar device. Gotta love that. I think we're done here. Yeah, alright. Back we go. Stay a while and listen. Yes. Alright, let's head to five.
<sighs> there are two points that I'm worried about here. Which I guess goes towards, like, just parts of this game that I'm like, mm, that's a little unfair, but whatever. Like, Neelothark's corpse explosion is ridiculous on this difficulty. Good afternoon. Okay. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of gambling. Wait, who does the gambling before? Maybe he does. I think he does. Well... Oh, yeah, he does too. Okay. Um, I've had these for ages. I feel like I can do better. Be quick about it. I doubt I'm going to get anything good in, like, the first few rolls. Thirteen percent. What are the values here? Okay. I need something that's a dual resist. Something that... Does it count towards fire? I have 8% fire here. Okay, so it's something that doesn't have fire. I can afford to lose fire. Lightning resist 15. No. Nah. Or anything that has high magic. Find. Mm, maybe. Because I do want to set up a magic fine build. Expensive endeavor. That's a good lightning resist one. What does my lightning resist look like? Okay, normal lightning resist. Yeah, okay. I mean, to be honest, my resists are kind of in a good spot, but... I'll consider that one. Oh, okay, that's the money exhausted already. I should also look at getting dual leech ring. Okay, that's a decent one. Alright. Two magic find rings. Okay. Let me see something. I mean, I'm not getting screwed over by... by Frozen. I don't know, I almost, I almost feel tempted to just stick to my guns here on what I have. Do a little more gambling. That's an all resist seven. That's not bad. My poison resist would take a hit, but... And, yeah, it's got lifesteal. That's pretty good.
no. What does this do to my build if I do this? Okay. Po I mean... I can up poison resist if I want. How much of a difference is it really? Hmm. I do like these numbers better. Because it, what, it reduces poison by, se it reduces poison by seven, but then everything else it gets increased by seven. It's almost worth taking that hit, I think. I'll see how it's like. If I'm getting fucked over by poison, I'll swap back. But it also has lifesteal, which is another good thing. Alright, go one more. Whoa, that's even better. That's a 11 resist ring. So hang on, 64 or Um, leaning more towards this one. Hang on. This one. That's not bad. Again, keep it. Wait, where is it? That one. Keep it just in case. Like, I feel like it's bad, but... Seventeen percent. Okay, hang on. Um, where are my magic fine rings? That's eleven. That's seventeen. Okay. There's my magic fine rings. That's another high one. Yeah, maybe. We'll keep those as options, but I think so far this... I can make up for the resist in terms of charms, so. Okay. One more round of gambling. That's just mana stolen, I need both. Ooh. There's a, there's a ring right there. 
That's an all resist one. With just fire being a higher percentage. Okay, hang on. I know what to do. I think I, I, I don't need to gamble for rings anymore. Um. So, I know I get that that's life steal, but then. Okay, hold up. Lightning resists low is too much. Um, lightning resists 14, fire it. But like if I do this... Okay, so I'm going to try and roll a belt that has lightning and cold resist, as hard as that might be. Or I could do it through boots. What do boots have? Boots just have poison. No, I need that. Um, which is the belt? It's this one, right? E but it only has plus four slots. I need one that has plus twelve. Is it not rolling shark skin yet? Oh no, it is. Okay, it is. Fine. Oh, I'm out of money. Alright. Um, I think for now just stick to this. This is good. I think this is as close as I can get. Poison resist is more or less what it was. Cold's gone down a little bit, but not by much. Alright. And I guess we'll move this into our active money. Okay. Out we go. The siege must be stopped. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I just I just remembered <laughs> what I'm about to do. I just remembered what I'm about to do. Hello. Not even kidding. I suppose that's the other thing, is like, I can up cold and poison through potions anyway, so like, if I'm gonna be in an area that's gonna be obnoxious with one or the other, I can up it temporarily. Whereas in the other two, you can't, so... Yeah, these fucking quill rats, this is what I'm worried about. Because they do poison. Oh my god. That was quick. Okay. This, this is... This is some shit. Oh, there's an elite over there, that's why. I was like, that's not normal. Alright, dead. This 
This is gonna be more annoying than I think it is. Jeez, oh, why? See what I mean by melee getting punished? It's like, I'm just doing my job as a melee character. It's like, nah. Go do ranged attacks. What are you doing attacking melee for? Oh my god. Yeah, no, nah, I'm going back already. Oh. There. Ah. Good evening. Sick. Evening. I love that these things have a melee aspect and a range aspect. And it's almost like I take damage for hitting them. Like they have thorns. Fucking hell. Yeah, I'm glad I, I put I put this off a little bit. I think there's just some classes that are not viable for hardcore play. There's just areas that seem like they would be near impossible to do. dude. <laughs> it wasn't for this Valkyrie. I would hate to think how this would go. service. Uh. 
Uh, do I need anything else? No. Wait. I should sell this while I'm here. Make back some of that money. <laughs> Not in town. It's pretty much just, just this part, and then a little bit later that this is a problem. Put the Valkyrie there, get them to attack her instead. Doesn't know where to go. She's just running back and forth. At least Plague is strong enough where I just throw one and, generally speaking, they all die. Just might take a few seconds. that again. Ah, oh, she died, damn it. There goes my mana source. I should go get her. <laughs> I thought that was an enemy. Solid, solid area. 50 million projectiles. Alright, they should be dead. Not in town. I am quite. Here. Come on, we gotta be near the end of this. <laughs> Come on, 
Holy shit, look at the sheer number of javelins flying out. Poison resist went down. Dude. They're gonna kill her again. This is just annoying. <laughs> Most of them have been dealt with. Fun area. I'm out of mana potions now. I am overburdened. Good afternoon. Uh, hold on. Not here. Here. I think I gotta get money out to resurrect her. Oh, no, I think I got just enough, maybe. Afternoon. Ah, like <laughs> just slightly off. Okay, uh. I think the way to do this is... No, it doesn't. I thought maybe the the spare stuff overflows, but it doesn't. Not here. I think that's the one thing they need to fix with controller play, is just... Not in town. Have a text box to enter a number. They have it for other stuff to enter names and whatnot, but... I don't know how they managed to go, hmm, yes, increase quantity by one on a slider, that's, that's a perfect way to input how much money you want. Good work. Oh, cool, there's the stairs. Alright. I just want to make sure the surroundings are clear. The 
Valkyrie seems to be taking some damage. Valkyrie, please intercept. <laughs> down. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Alright, at least we're done with those things for a while. Uh not in town. Salutations. Damn. Not in town. I'll we'll just move him here for now. I'll keep one. Then I'll start refilling that last column. Not here. Weird. I thought it wanted me to do something. Okay. Slow and steady progress. I'm kind of curious to see how Plague goes in this act. It seems to be doing well. Oh, there. Yeah. That would explain it. I thought they were going to be fire immune, I don't know why. Because they were shooting flames. Uh oh, that's a lot. It's only just clicking the direction I should be heading. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Get the Valkyrie, what are you doing? <laughs> Get in there. Okay. Oh, there's the line. I see it. Oh, 
I don't want to get near that thing. <laughs> I fear the explosions. Oh, it's dead. Alright, cool. Alright, that's what's going on. I was like, why are they still moving fast? There's a minion here. Kind of in an awkward spot. Got you. Yeah, stay in the tower all you want, you're dead. Okay, going back. Not here. I think my magic find chess piece is done. All oh, right, I got a Okay. But that'll that'll be an off stream thing. I'm gonna work on that. I don't know how I'm gonna use them, but that's typically how I start. Okay. I wonder if they're gonna bring back that stat in Diablo 4, because it wasn't there in three. Or was it there initially? I don't remember. It might have been. It's been that long that I don't remember if Magic Find was a thing originally. That's a lot of archers. <sighs> Just making sure I don't miss it. Sometimes they do double up. I still can't get over that the door is, uh, is immune to poison, but not immune to electricity. Is that even hitting? I can't tell. It's not. Fuck you then, I'm going to another door. Oh boy. Yeah, that Valkyrie is is really MVP here. <laughs> I'm going back. I, I want my 
my mana body back. Good to see you. Evening. Not here. Good. Got most of that money back. Evening. Okay, there's camp number two. Waiting with an army of skeletons? Hang on. No, Valkyrie. Don't attack- don't attack the inanimate rocks, attack that thing breathing fire in my direction. They're free. Oh, my God. Jeez, dude. I want, it was either spend the potion on her or waste like another 40 grand to resurrect. I think I picked correctly. all of them. Okay, this... this is cool. <laughs> they all appear to be standing on the hill and they're not going to attack me. Oh, scratch that. Hey, Meg and, uh... Meg? You might want to move. Meg? For fuck's sake, Meg. Oh my god. Meg! <laughs> Holy crap. Talk about clustering. Oh no. That's not what you want to see. Immune to both. Ugh, no. Nah. 
leave that thing alone. I hope there aren't that many of those things. That is frightening if that's like a potential combination of enemies that's gonna happen. Fuck. Okay, I need to get past this area as quick as possible. This is bad. If I come across an elite of one of those things, it's... Oof, that's gonna be tough. Okay, there's the waypoint at least. Alright, I'm going back for ammo. Not here. Oh yeah, and I gotta collect my reward from from you. Thank you. I need more Ral. Okay. Probably not a good idea. Let's go somewhere else. There we go. things are there again. They seem to have attracted another one. Unless that's the same one just teleporting me around. I should grab that, just in case I change my mind about follower. It's a nice backup, I guess. Ooh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Other way, other way, other way. I saw the aura come up. Really? Okay, let's try door number three over here. I think we'll be okay here. Nope. Scratch that. I see something quick moving there. I just want to get out of this area. This area is horrible. Too many resists. Fire him because he can drop good gear. Why is the screen shaking?
Oh, it's the off quack thing he's doing. I see. Was it worth the time? Not really. Uh, I'm going back before I go in. Afternoon. I just have this feeling <laughs> like I should. Not in town. Okay. I'm gonna take this slowly. We're almost at that critical part that I'm worried about. Should be dead. Yep, this is this is some shit right here. <laughs> I'm getting cursed with like these things that charge at you. This is annoying. Oh, okay. They just murdered her? Yeah, let's not tempt fate here. <laughs> Afternoon. Mate shield, come. Come on. Salutations. What do you need? There goes all my money. Not in town. Ah, that's why. Elite. That explains it. I was kind of wondering how the Valkyrie was dying so quickly over there, but that makes sense now. Yep, what a fun tunnel. <laughs> Breathe. 
Oh no, there's another elite over there. Dude. Nope. 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 Move back. Make them follow me. There's too much going on in that corner. Just stuff like this, like, how can you play as a melee class, like a barbarian, in hardcore and get away with this? There's just, there's no way. Like, your follower is not that tanky. Oh, this is, this is scary. I need to go back. How may I be of help? Like, it's, it's just not reasonable. Not here. Good day. Uh, I guess I'll get the money out of Resurrector. I mean... Afternoon. Just otherwise, I'm going to be spending on mana potions. So, what is it? Okay. Uh, I'm going to put the money back just in case anything happens. Not here. What it, Meg? <laughs> You're an archer. You should not be walking up to an enemy point blank and shooting them. Okay, it's dead. Ugh. Still not gonna risk it. They're still strong, those things. What a horrible corner. Oh my god, there's another elite over there. Yeah, good, great. Totally viable for a melee character. I'm using her summon to scout. I'm not walking into any of these rooms. If they're doing that to the Valkyrie, I'll be less than half a second away from death every time. No, a barbarian, what are the barbarians supposed to do is they're supposed to walk into that. They're supposed to walk into that room and come out alive, no problem. Hey, I, I was gonna say Valkyrie, you wanna... 
You want to intercept here? Yeah. to go back. <laughs> this is why I was putting off this act and farming off stream, because I knew it was gonna be this. Yes. Not here. Not here. Oh shit. Oh. Back away. I don't even know where they came from. Shit, she's got company behind her. Ow. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to end up, but I need to go do the waypoint first. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I'm going to go to town soon, also. I'm just going to walk it. Oh. Convenient. Alright, cool. Okay. First clench moment of the act coming right up. My lightning resist is, a, is as high as it gets, so... I 
It's on me. I hate this cave. Oh shit, they're poison immune. Jeez, dude. Hold on. We deal with the one behind us. Oh yeah, another one behind. Yeah. Practically all my ammo is <laughs> already. I'm just, I'm gonna go back, like right now. Look. It's probably better this way. Evening. Okay. I haven't really thrown many points into Lightning Fury. It's kind of there as a utility, but stab is good. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised. I thought that would be the dudes that shoot electricity. So this is no one... I mean, it's obnoxious, but not annoying, annoying, you know? This cave is typically much worse than this. Oh, God. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't go against that. Let me see if there's an alternate path. Okay, there is sweet. the key here. <laughs> it's just to find a path that doesn't have too many of those mages. Good game it is. It is indeed. I 
mean, I'm scared for my life, but it's fun. Definitely lucked out here. Those lightning things aren't here. Which shield is this, Rune Word? Uh, it's just Ancient's Pledge. It's nothing special. But I got it in a troll's nest. I do have Rhyme, but I think I'm keeping my resists high for now, like, the Frozen stuff isn't that bad. You play on PS4, but not on ladder. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never played a ladder before, so... I wanted to check it out. I'm playing the PS5 version. But also play on PC. I wanted to see if I could get through hardcore, and it's going well. I'm almost there. Too bad the PS4 has crashes, really? Damn, that must suck. Um, aside from when this patch first came out and they had issues with the map generation, it's been fine. Can't say I've noticed too many crashes. I really hope it's in this corner here. Okay. What uh, class do you usually play, Luizal? If I'm pronouncing that correctly. Okay, they're here. Let's see if she gets overwhelmed. Thank you, Valkyrie. <laughs> Good work. Just let the plague do its thing. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy it's available on console. To be honest, I prefer controller for certain classes. Okay, we're good. I just... I tried playing with keyboard and mouse, but just the key bindings felt weird. You do Amazon Javazon. Okay, right on. Yeah, I'm... I guess I wanted to try Plague here, like a jewel. Dual element, just so I didn't run into problems, but I think ultimately I'm gonna go with physical spear. Since that's a bit better now and you can do Uber solo. Not here. 
But I mean, this has been working for me. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I saw the plus one and got excited. It's, uh, it's masteries. I mean... I, I doubt I'll ever run a Barbarian in Hardcore, like, that just seems like a bad move. I don't know. Uh, I'll move it to a mule later. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to have it, I guess. I've had no luck finding plus one to Amazon. Alright, cool. So this is the part now where I'm genuinely worried. Thank you. The Neolithic corpse explosion shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. But resistances are where they should be. And I have high armor, so in theory, I should be okay. Afternoon. I'm still worried. If I'm gonna die at any point, it's going to be here. Not in town. I have to take this part slowly. You have proven yourself a true. Is it hardcore? This is hardcore, yeah. I've had some pretty good luck so far. Particularly with runes, like, been kinda lucky. Like, I was able to make duress, so... That's providing me with quite a bit of armor. And the crushing blow is very useful as well. Home away from okay, I'm not afraid to bail on this if it gets really bad right away. These things are such assholes. I might even have to reset it depending on Neolithox. I'm sorry. Pindle skins resists. I could always skip him, but. Oh my god. Uh. Hmm. They are a lot tankier than I thought they'd be. Okay, hold up here a minute. They're gonna res. Just wanna get the ones that res first. They do eventually stop resurrecting. Okay, clear. That sort of gives me an indication of how much damage they do. Okay. 
please don't be poison resist. Otherwise, I might have to skip. It's not an obnoxious aura, that's lightning. Okay, there are his... I can't see. I have to drag him out here. Oh, okay. That's... Yep, that's a nope. I have to skip this. Fuck. Stupid hitboxes. I mean, okay, maybe I can beat it. I shouldn't have given up so early. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I have the panic button on. Oh shit. She died. Okay. Alright, Pindle Skin's down. Okay. I, I really hate this area. It's just, there's gonna be close calls here. Alright, let's go back to town, because I'm not gonna go through that door. Like this. Of course, Pendle got the uh, poison resist. Of course he did. Salutations. Of all the things. Not here. I think once, if I do get through this campaign, I'll respect to Lightning Fury as much as I don't want to. I can. S There's a reason why it's like it's king in terms of farming. Plague is good for playing through it, but aside from that, it's just it's not as good. Okay, take this slowly. This is alright, this is the lesser of the evils in terms of what could have been here. At least immunities aren't a pain here. They're just gonna be lightning immune, so that's fine by me. Yeah, just in case. Yeah. Hierophant's great. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's a problem. Okay, it looks like the physical aspect of what I'm throwing does work, so it'll it'll break it. It might take a few, but it's fine. I'll go back to town.
Oh my god, they're all like that. Cool, so all my javelins are gonna go here. Okay. <laughs> Let me get that to sell. Hello. I'm looking forward to what they're doing with immunities. I don't know, they don't make the game harder, they just make it annoying. Stay a while and listen. Not here. At your service. Okay, that was worth 35. Good. There's another one, great. Oh, come on, no. Please tell me that one isn't lightning immune as well. Wow, this sucks. Um, huh. This might be a problem. Just skip those, I can't kill. No, it's like, I know I can, it's just... I'm playing hardcore. <laughs> Skipping ordinarily would be fine, but... I feel like skipping in this circumstance I could get surrounded and die. Good afternoon. Good day. So yeah, Sunder, when they add it, it's gonna be great for these kind of situations right here. Being immune to one thing, sure. Being immune to two, oh. If it's hardcore, you wouldn't recommend doing Nilathark without Storm Shield. What does Storm Shield grant me? Is it a higher block chance? Or is it the light? What does it give me specifically? Stop throwing javelins for these ones. Oh, yeah, okay. If I get one tab, grants 30 or 40% damage reduction. Right, got ya. Well. It's not like I'm getting through this. I kind of imagined something like this would happen. Um, okay, but look. Just because I can't get through that corner doesn't mean I can't get the waypoint somehow. Like, it's possible. I just went to that corner first. Because that's usually where I look first. But it's possible the waypoint could be in the other two corners. It's just... Can I help you? Gotta hope that that doesn't happen again. That's just unlucky. It was three elites in one corner. Like, just... Yeah, I mean... But I can deal with the normal ones. The normal ones are fine. The normal ones do die to the physical damage eventually. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I haven't really played hardcore before, so... This has been fine. So far. The Valkyrie is, is invaluable. And they're running dual spears, or javelins, I guess, has been all right. Plague is definitely better than it used to be. Do I have treachery? I am using tre treachery, yes. Well, no, hang on there. No. I'm not using treachery. I do have treachery. But I'm not using it at the moment. I have Duress because I wanted to hard hit melee range. Do the crushing blow stuff. It's been coming in real handy for fighting bosses. Oh good. More of these. I think the, the problem here right now is that we have poison and lightning immunities. I think my problem here is more the poison immune than the lightning immune. Lightning immunes aren't a problem because I have plague javelin. It's, the problem is the things that are spawning have both. That's just unlucky. And it's not the only combination that can happen here. Like, typically, I, I thought this area was just lightning immune, but then I remembered, oh, wait, these things. And so, whilst I could reset it, it would just mean I'd have to do Pindle skin again, which kind of had a close call on Pindle. If I can get the waypoint, then I can reset this, and that's it. I don't have to worry, and... Yeah, I mean, Nilathak is like a, a concern for sure. I don't know, is it really a case of like... you? It's required? Have I killed Bale on Hell? Uh, on Softcore, yeah. Not Hardcore. I mean, I know for bail I'm gonna need a bunch of shit, so I'm not rushing to get to the end of this today. But I got the feeling it's gonna be in that spot. One cheese I like using on Bale is, um, the heck is the name of that item? But there's one that if you and your follower and Valkyrie are attacking Bale, he doesn't do, well, his, his chances of doing those attacks that drain your mana or any of his bullshit lower because he just keeps, I don't know, he's almost like stun locked. It's definitely the case in multiplayer. It makes it trivial in multiplayer. Ah, oh, all right, I lucked out. Okay. It's here. Good evening. How may I be of help? Now, I, I kind of have a choice. I can, like... Your service. Leave it here. As this is as far as I can get risk free. I'd have to see where, where the best place to get Storm Shield would. It, it would have to be in hell, that's the problem. Because it's a monarch. It's 
So who drops it? Um... I guess it would ha- yeah, it would have to be- I'd have to do, like, Act 1 Cave Runs, wouldn't I? According to this, the Summoner can. Summoner wouldn't be too bad. I've reached really far as a solo self-failed Javazon on Hardcore. Yeah, I was kind of surprised, to be honest. <laughs> I didn't think I would get this far, but... If I was to put it on anything, it was like Nightmare Drop Me and, uh... A very useful rune that I have to make Duress, and that kind of helped quite a bit. So... Uh, yeah. Neil fuck fucking concerns me. <laughs> he really does. Uh. Okay. So according to this, the best place to do it would be this. The Summoner and the Arcane Sanctuary has it, which is a pretty good area to farm in general because you get runes anyway. Otherwise, it's it's like Act One doing um that cave that's like high level, which mm, the pit, yeah. It's just ugh, is it real? Is it really to that extent where like? Unless I have that shield, I'm gonna get one shot. That's... That's the part that I'm like... You know what? I have an idea. There, is, There is a way to stress test this. There is a way to stress test this. I... Haha! -ha. Uh... uh what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my other character, okay? One that is completely geared. And if I can do Nilathark... Wait, did I not pick the difficulty? Yeah, so, I mean... If I can do this... Let's say I do this ten times, right? And he only gets me once out of those ten times... It's probably worth it. Oh, I gotta rebuy my skills here. Alright. Um. But this is like completely leveled, so. Hang on, let me just. Is that everything? And then X. Is this a league character? This one, no. This one is not. This one, pre-league. This was when the one I've been playing since launch, so. It's there. Things could be better. But. Yeah. I got Chains of Honor. Okay. Oh yeah, right, I need to bind this stuff. Uh, what is it? It's like that, and then that, and... I forget which one it is, but... I should probably do it without that, just to get a better idea. Alright, until I get to Neelothark, I'll... Oh, it's satisfying to say, but yeah, 
Yeah, let's not waste time. I don't think this is a good indication, but let's just see. Oh yeah, bef Before I go back, I'm obviously going to deposit all my money, because it's going to drop, so... Okay, so this is what I would fight my way up to this right here so i'm gonna throw plague because plague will give me a better idea of like what it's gonna be like um okay money all deposited nothing important on me okay Ooh, but my health no my health is no 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 I have to let this wear off. My health cannot be that high. It has to be like about... My health is too high. That's that's not realistic. Maybe I... Alright, let me have a look at what I have here. Because I think Chains of Honor is like... Let's get a better indication here. Tal Rushes that... I don't know, but I just want to see what it's like. Alright, that's that's closer. I just want to see what it would be like. I guess I could try and find a nature's piece. You're right, but like, then I have to go back to farming. Okay, so 1235 health, that is better. What else is giving me a lot of health here? Um... Spirit, I, uh, yeah, I guess spirit is technically. Skill, yeah, skill is R, uh, but not that much, I don't think. 14, 29, 20. That's gonna lower my resist, so I don't wanna do that. I, I think I can figure it out. I think this is fine. This is more indicative. My resists are lower, so it's, it sort of balances out. Alright, let's see. So I'm just gonna throw plague javelins and see how I go. No lightning fury because that's bad. And then if he if he if he nails me on this, then I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go level up. Oh wait, this isn't even him, is it? No, it's not. Um I did the wrong thing. No, nah, because Lightning Fury is fully leveled up. That's what I'm saying. Like, I want to see what it would be like if I use the hardcore character at this point. That's why I don't want to throw it, because it's it's obviously my highest damag damaging skill. Like, <laughs> even, even with what I took off. It's still doing an absurd amount of damage. Okay, hold on. Is this him? That's not him. If I wanted to survive ability against Corp Explosion... It's not some... Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I guess. Like, I know it's going to hurt. That's the thing, like... I'm- I just want to see if I can do it without getting hit by Corpse Explosion. Because if I can do that several times in a row reliably... ...then it doesn't matter how much damage it does, right?
Yeah, this is it. Alright, so let's see. So this Plague Javelin is leveled less. Jeez. Let me go this side. Okay. Alright. Alright, there, there it is. Alright, so that was one explosion. What's my armor? Hmm. It's here, isn't it? Um. Wait, they don't have total armor values? I thought they did. Alright, but the rest definitely gives me more than this. Yeah, I'm trying to see what my physical reduction is. That's what I'm trying to find it. Magic word damage reduce. Cold absorb, piercing attack. There's no. Doesn't look like there's physical resist. This was with Rhyme as well, and it was a Grim Shield. Or as in, my other one has a Troll's Nest. Jurass gives me more defense than this. Yeah, hmm. My resists are higher on my other character, let me put it this way. My resists are definitely higher. And then how tanky is he? Like, if I throw a couple of these... Yeah, okay. Well, there you go, that's... This is more or less... Okay, so that's so... I'm doing the math. It's like, he does 400 roughly on an explosion. Which is half my health on my other character. It's risky. It's definitely risky. I think it's doable. Like, if we're going by my health and resists... You don't even know why I want to kill him so early. Well... Okay, the story behind this is... I wanted to, like, just have a bunch of videos to put up. Because... I had no intention of going too far with this, but... It's kind of gone far, so it'd be good to finish it. I shall keep my end of day's bargain. Okay, okay. All right, so if we compare, that was Plague Javelin only at level twelve. My other character has. Plague Javelin maxed out. So it would be doing more. Like, even even this... This only has a base of 1. <laughs> Gets plus 12. Okay. Afternoon. Like, surely my defense is comparable to this. The health, I, I get it. 
It's not the same, but I have higher resistances on the other character. Defense 1690. All right, let me compare. That was defense 1690. Defense 1690, and then... Uh. So, it's like... This has higher defense. I have more... I have more defense, technically. And then... Defense doesn't matter a corpse explosion. Okay, but like... So what's the important stat then? Is it just raw health? Because if it's raw health, corpse explosion did... 400 to me. Roughly. And if it's got to do with resistances, I have 75 fire resist, which the other character didn't. Fire and physical. Okay, so we saw that the other character didn't have physical damage reduction, right? This one has damage reduced by 7, so it does have physical damage reduction. And it has fire resistance. So there is some physical damage reduction on this. This is like a defining moment, is do I go ahead with this or not? I'm gonna- I'm gonna read this up. <laughs> Nila, fuck. Corpse explosion. Reduce damage. I don't know, let's just see. Yeah, we know the nature's peace thing, but that's not what we want. I'm just writing. Can use the Phoenix rune word? What's the Phoenix rune word? Okay. Phoenix. <laughs> but that's like Vex Vex low jar. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Because it gets redemption aura and it can clear the bodies. <laughs> the other thing that... Okay, the other thing you can do... Is kill his- kill the corpses, and then go and do some other shit, because apparently they despawn. After a certain amount of time. It does take a while. But they do despawn. It doesn't remember everything. Like, at some point the game just s stops tracking them. Apparently. That might be vanilla, I don't know, that's... How may I be of help? Just use Valkyrie. <laughs> I, su I suppose. Alright. I went into this with confidence, so let's just try. This is gonna be different as well. Look. Comparing it to the other character... I should have it in... As a possibility. 
My resists are higher, my health whilst lower. The other character only took 400 damage and didn't have any physical damage reduction. This has some, not a lot. I'm making a huge mistake here, aren't I? Alright, well, you know what they say, no guts, no glory. This is annoying. Is that- that's an elite, isn't it? Okay, that's dead. Yeah, multiple elites, good. Okay. If I do manage to get through this, I'm not- I'm not progressing any further today. Like, that's where I draw the line. Like, one heart attack per day. I'm gonna go farm stuff. <laughs> like, I'm not e I don't even have Titans to revenge, like... <laughs> and I've gotten this far. Yes, rejuvenation potions. This is much easier to deal with, though, than what, it, what was previously here. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much required, right? To, in all honesty, I was gonna farm it. I was actually preparing a magic find build to go do Nightmare. But then I got the idea, hey, how about I progress today? Okay, I gotta go back. Good afternoon. Good to see you. What do you need? There's nothing really that can help me here. I mean... I don't think that's gonna help. It's backed up. It's, it's in the shared tab, so if I do die, I don't lose it. All the important shit is on that tab, so... Oh, goody. Oh, no. Okay, walk away from these things. As long as the Hierophant dies. That's free money. Okay. Yeah, I'm not even thinking about cows on hell. Like, that's an eternity away. Ah, oh, that wasn't a good one. Oh, well. <sighs> that, 
At least I'll know where he is. At your service. No, I mean I can I can do Nightmare Bale. Titans does drop in Night uh, no, Nightmare Bale and also Mephisto. I think Nightmare Mephisto has a better chance from memory. So it's not bad. I think in non-hardcore I got it through vanilla. I got but sorry, I got I got it through Hell and Ariel. I remember it clearly, because I spent ages looking for it, and then one dropped, and then literally five minutes later, a second one dropped. It took me months to find the first one, the second one took me five minutes. I was really annoyed. <laughs> I was really annoyed. But that's just how it goes, I guess. I could trade the- yeah, but I've gotten this far without trading or interacting with other people. Lose some sense of accomplishment. Nice room. I would like it if I was to get through this on my own. No outside assistance. Fuck's sake. Okay. Titans drop if it was a hundred. All right, let's see. What the fuck? Why is Bale? Well, I guess the run takes. Uh -huh. I'm not sure which one will take longer. Because to get to Bale, you have to go through all those floors. But then on the other hand, Mephisto is more annoying and. Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure which one would be better to do there. I'm playing single player, yeah. No multiplayer whatsoever. For hardcore, that is. I mean, Nightmare Mephisto has other stuff that could drop. Afternoon. Oh, no, 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 but I'm playing on Battle.net. No, no, but I'm not playing local, if that's what you're asking. No, I'm playing... I'm playing Battle.net, so that goes out the window, the static map thing. Because, yeah, I like to play this on PC and on console. Sometimes I feel like kicking back on the couch, and I can go play this on the couch, and sometimes I'm at the computer. This The cross-progression thing is great. <laughs> That would be a good idea, though. <sighs> yeah, I don't think you can play two platforms on single- Actually, you know what? I haven't tried, to be honest. I kind of assumed that single player just meant data is local to the computer and doesn't get stored in the cloud anywhere. But I haven't tried.
but um, the Switch version is pretty good, by the way. It runs pretty well. Okay, so what is it? Evil Urn, so he's to the left. Okay, I know where he is now. So he's to the left. Or down, I guess, however you want to treat it. People treat the direction differently. It's good to have it or just, uh, yeah, be able to take it portably. Play it in bed, that sort of thing. You would still say Mephisto Nightmare is faster than Bale. It depends how much those little dolls do to me. That's the only factor that I'm considering. Because those, oh, those, those... Those dolls fucking hurt. If they don't do much to me in Nightmare, then yeah. Definitely. If I can just run up to them and hit them and not take extreme damage, then... Definitely better. Okay, let's just... You don't kill them. Yeah, but the problem is sometimes you get surrounded. <laughs> they move so quickly and then with other shit, like... I don't know. Good evening. Isn't that... I've said this before, like, but playing melee in Diablo 2 is kind of a nightmare. This game leans so heavily towards range play, it's not funny. Not in town. Okay. Not in town. Alright, the way I typically do this is I do that. That'll lure some out. Without triggering him, I should add. Plague is my stronger javelin. That's why I'm throwing plague. Okay. There's a lot going on there. Me back. Okay, so I'm gonna test if this is true. I'm gonna go do some other shit and see if the whole, like, if you play the game, it'll despawn. No, not that. Jeez. Because if, if that's an avenue, honestly, most of them are dead. So if they do disappear because I'm doing other stuff, then that's a bonus. Alright, I think I'm gonna go... Stuff that's productive. Um, we'll go do a run of the tower. But yeah, here, uh, Plague is stronger for me, because I wanted to see if it was viable. It has been pretty good to me so far. Lightning Fury is there kind of as a backup, but it's being powered by the other lightning skills. 
Um, I'm using a matriarch wand, so it's got a bit of physical damage behind it. Like it's got... Yeah. It's got some attack rating. It's got extra attack rating to demons and damage to demons. It's not bad. It's not oriented around attack speed. But for poking, it's great. And I mean, even lightning immune stuff. I can gamble for a better one. I mean, what would I look for even? That's the thing. Javelins with plus four. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's an easy way to do that in Harrogath, isn't there? Just walk in and out of the Pendleskin route. It's probably not a bad idea, to be honest. But... The one I have already has plus two, so it would be like, I'd be just gaining plus two. Anyway, I'm killing a bunch of stuff. Like, I know I can run there, but I'm killing stuff, so then... Maybe... It despawns. I gotta do this without... Using a portal as well. It's a little annoying, but whatever. <laughs> I'm going to be patient. Patient in this endeavor. Oh. Oh. sucks to be a melee. <laughs> oh, that's what's happening. Go physical damage. Oh, that's disgusting. Still killed it. I suppose another way I could do it is try to get an amulet that gives me skills to Amazonian skills. Because that's... I have one that gives me resist, but it doesn't give me plus anything. But amulets are a bit expensive. You know what- you know what I could do? You know what I could do? I could temporarily respec onto Lightning Fury.
Like, just amp lightning fury enough. But, that's- see, this is why Plague Javelin is good. Because you throw one in, and it connects and it just keeps draining their health quite a bit. Why temporarily? I don't know, because, like... <sighs> I wanted to play... Plague, and finish it in, like, this dual spec type thing. And then I could say, yeah, hey, I played a, um, hybrid Javazon, one that went Plague and... with Lightning. On a hardcore run, it shows how viable it is. But then, yeah, I guess I would, I would, if I were to temporarily race back, I'd be acknowledging that. Hybrid sucks. It's okay to beat the game, but to farm. Oh, no, I, I know that this will never be the way to farm. Not deluding myself in the slightest. I know that this isn't the way to farm. <laughs> Are you kidding? Like, Lightning Fury just evaporates a screen instantly. It just does it just can't compete with that speed. Yes. However, in, in terms of usability of playthrough, I think it's good. It solves quite a few problems. Afternoon. Okay. Let me just let me just take a peek. Not here. Where are we? Bodies have not disappeared. They have, however- Oh, no, they have, however, on this side. Okay, hang on. There might be something to this. There were a few bodies on that side. There's only one now. Interesting. I don't know if he just blew them up or they genuinely vanished. But if- Alright, let's just- I'll entertain it. Cause it's not like I'm wasting my time. I could get a rune out of here that's useful anyway. It's not a waste of time. If anything, I'll level up and then I'll have more health. I don't know, I just thought I got swindled into, like, an urban legend. Like in Pokemon where they said, Yeah, Mew's totally behind that truck next to the SSN. Just push the truck. Oh, you can't push the truck now? What you need to do is beat the Elite Four a hundred times in a row. So then the game will then put you into a battle with Professor Oak. And then once you beat him, then you can go push the truck and catch Mew. Did you know you can play as Luigi in Super Mario 64? You just have to run around the fountain 2,416 times, which is the number that appears on the statue. Did you know that there's a cow level? Oh wait, that one's real. Sure, why not? <laughs> uh oh. Get that wretched thing away from me. <laughs> that aura needs to be deleted from the game. You want to talk about screwing over melee characters? There's- there's that aura.
Okay. Doesn't explode. Not every melee is bad, like Zerka Barb is the best magic find build in the game. Ye yeah, look, like, once you get up and running, it's fine. It's just, I think, playing through the game is a little bit, uh... It's a little bit horrible. Like, alright, let's say I was playing... Let's say I was doing this tree instead, like, Impale and Fend. I would not have gotten this far. Let me put it that way. <laughs> no way. Which is ultimately what I want to build into at the end, but... Like, yeah, I'm, I'm playing with javelins until then. I'd be stupid not to. I remember so many parts in the Barbarian playthrough and, like, Softcore I did that. There just came moments where I was like, oh, cool, I'm not getting past this point because my attack rating's not high enough and I can't survive. I don't know. I'd like this game, but I, I feel like that's just an oversight of the balancing. It's just... It favors range play heavily. Like, the character that by lore is supposed to run in and yell and kill everything without giving a fuck about any sort of repercussions, you can't really play that way until you get a bunch of gear that allows you to. So... Which is funny. Yeah, that's probably something I don't want to be next to. This as well, if you get cursed, it's like, oh yeah, if you're a melee, by the way. And guess what? Things that melee you back are gonna deal extra damage. Don't- don't get surrounded by enemies. Have I seen the new Sunderground charms? Uh, I watched a couple videos on it. I don't- haven't played the PTR. Um... I mean... The video I watched pretty much had the same thought I did when I first heard of it. It was just like, oh, okay, so like, cold... Cold sorceress, huh? That's that's going to be even better. <laughs> it's just cold sorceress is already ridiculous, and now it's like, hey, you know, you know the one minor hindrance that she can overcome anyway. How about we remove that hindrance, and then basically give it zero downside. It does mean fire is going to be more viable and lightning will probably be pretty cool as well, but. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the physical immunity one is kind of a joke. <laughs> oh, you mean melee is going to. In order to break physical immunity, they're going to take more damage. Right. So they take more damage when melee, almost like they're double cursed. Alright. I'd say that's the only one that I'm like, hmm. I mean, I, I get what they're trying to do, but... I doubt anyone's really going to use it. It's better to just skip. Like, just skip them. Or just don't, don't go there. Is that three elites in one room? I think it is. Mm. 
Yeah, okay. Look, I don't care that I teleported back. It's fine. I'll just walk it up. Hello. Not here. I'll just walk it up. It's fine. Yes. I did clear the way anyway. Poison is bad unless there'll be a million poison immunes in the new terror zone. I think... <sighs> yeah, it's hard to say. I don't know. It's really hard to say. But the obvious winners for that are like, uh... Lightning and Ice. Because you play those ranged anyway. It's kind of like... You don't have to get really rare items to overcome those. Which is good. For the two strongest farming builds in the game, it's, it's pretty damn good. But for everything else, I don't think it makes it as much of a game changer as you would think. Okay, these are equal now. That's an elite there, isn't it? Yep. Where would I be without the Valkyrie? <laughs> Probably dead. Just checking if there's armor racks or anything. You never know. I still haven't gotten a monarch. <laughs> you know what? That would be another thing I could get. Now that I say that out loud, like, spirit, but, eh, it's fine. Because I am using Ancient's Pledge, which, eh. <laughs> Should I be really using this rune word at this point? Probably not, but... Alright. She's gotten hit by the poison. It's all good. <laughs> ah! Oh, come on. Really? That, that, that's what you're giving me? Okay, whatever. Sick. Greetings. I got I got two ort runes. All right. Well, I may as well combine them. I got quite a few. Okay. Let's go check on our uh, little creation. I want. I wanna. I want to know if this, this theory is correct. Good evening. Okay, uh, let's go here, and we should be able to just walk it up. If only that was, uh, like a skill one. Okay, it's this way. It 
It's gone. Yep, it's gone. Okay, 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 okay. It works. <laughs> it works. The body is gone on this side. Alright, throw it here. Nope. Oh, yep. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Dude, I'm going to be like... I'm not joking. <laughs> this is... This is the reality we're facing here. I will go back to town and uncurse myself. I don't care. Okay, again, throw her in. Just run this as far back as I can. Okay. Again. Where is he? Can't tell if I'm hitting him. I can't tell where he is. He's there. Okay, I got him. Alright, let's just get back. I'm going back. <laughs> I'm not sure how much damage I've done to him collectively, but... I'd, I'd say he's down to half, roughly. Okay. Not in town. Just as long as... Ugh, fuck, I gotta lead him. I gotta lead him. I gotta lead him. I can't have that body be anywhere near him. Okay. He's dead. <laughs> That's it. He's dead. That plague javelin's gonna kill him. Oh, it didn't. He's dead. Ha! Inspiring with bail. What a tragic mistake. Okay. Yep. That's it. That's that's probably the most clenched thing I'll do for a while. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, so yeah, so this works. So pretty much another approach to this is kill his things and go do something for about half an hour and then come back. Because the bodies that he's lined up will despawn and then it's easy. Alright. Not an urban legend. It actually works. Okay. Dude. I can't believe that worked. Alright. I'm happy. Hello. You have stopped. Good evening. Good evening. Not in town. Alright.
Well, onwards. That's like a massive weight lifted off my shoulders. Oh, I suppose this map reset, but whatever, it's fine. Oh no, these things. I think the most important thing here was health, more than anything else, and just making sure fire resist was high. Yeah, careful. Ooh, that's probably not good. Get back. If the Valkyrie's taking that heavy fire. Be why. Excuse me, why are you not dying? There we go. Oh, okay. It's being weird with the hitbox. Alright, anyway, leave. Good evening. Can I help you? I think for the ancients, I may need to take up, take back up javelins. As I imagine ammo is going to be a problem.
so invested in this now. Uh, massive weight off my shoulders having that dude gone. Fucking hell. up the pressure. <sighs> ah, there we go. That's why. these up. Afternoon. Oh shit, this is the entry. Wrong thing. That was almost bad. Yeah, this is, uh, get out of, get out of here. There's no need to do that. We look elsewhere. Valkyrie. Shit. But 
if I'm reading this correctly. Should be in this direction. It is. point. Nope. Okay, I got a crushing blow. <laughs> this should be another one. There he is. Maybe even a third one? No. Meg! What are you doing, Meg? It's a little scary. Oh, right there. Immune. Alright, going back. Your service. Please let this be. Sorry, I should be able to handle this. Please let this be it. It's it. Okay. Oh, man.
be right. Hold on, I need to get rid of these dickheads. Oh, why are they slowing me? <laughs> I thought they were poison, but they're, they're frozen. Uh, okay, follower just died. Why? Be why. Okay. I mean, take some of this stuff back. This is probably going to sell more. There we go. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Good day. Not here. Afternoon. Not here. Okay. Leave her alone. Having the white points here. There is a logical stopping point for me, it's just not yet. Not yet. Almost. Nope. Yeah, she got fucking destroyed instantly. Where did that Hydra come from? They, were they mine? Never one struck. It only says, it only says Nova. I don't know where that came from, anyway. Alright. Not here. Not in town. Can I help you? Oh, 
Hold on. Okay. One sec. Uh, I need to plug in my controller to a power source, as I don't want the battery dying me randomly. These are things you must stay on top of. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Charging? It's charging. Okay. I'm gonna get near the elite archer. Wow. I think did as much as in the Illithark explosion. I am a little surprised at how relatively empty this area has been. Valkyrie, please. Oh, you asshole! You teleported. He's chasing me. There we go. He's dead. Thank you, plague. Holy shit! All right, hang on. I just want to make sure. I'm not going anywhere near that. I think that corner's death. Paying attention to those fire things on the ground. Okay, I think I can sneak past. Where is she? There she is. I can't carry it. Gonna have to go 
go back to town in a minute anyway. What's in my cube? Ah, okay. Makes sense. Not in town. Hello. Not here. Evening. another one of those catapults doing that? I think it is. I'm too afraid to walk in it. <laughs> Just in case the explosions are murderous. They probably are. Likely that it's there. Oh no, that's a get back. That's a lot of enemies, holy shit. Okay, just making sure that the waypoint isn't there. I mean... Ugh. Distract, please. Thank you. Oh shit, careful. Yeah, this thing has to go. Apparently I'm out of heals. Waypoint! Alright. I didn't get the waypoint to the glacial trail. At your service. Fuck off. Really? I'm, I'm, it's gonna bother me. I must have walked past it and not, not gotten it, I don't know, but I'm getting it. Completionism. Ah. Is 
that's what happened exactly. I straight up just walked to the exit, which is kind of funny. Coming. We cool. <laughs> Holy crap. Afternoon. Not here. Okay, it's not here. There's, there's no... Well... Experience, I guess. <laughs> ah, Valkyrie, you betrayed me. You didn't defend me. and hearts. Yeah. Big sad. <sighs> Any other person would have just let this waypoint go, not me. I must have them all. Great follower. There we go. She got fucking stuck. Okay, that was just a little bit of a panic move. Ow. Mm. 
This is not the way. This is also... Valkyrie? Holy shit. Cutting it a bit closer. Ooh, this is scary. Alright, we should be okay now. Have we not found this thing yet? Okay, there it is. Yay! <laughs> what do you need? Completionism, raw. Hello. Okay. Yeah, probably not the way I want to go. Thanks, Valkyrie. Oh, shit. No, go away. Oh, boy. I have to make the time to clean. There's too much here. Yeah, no. Keep going. In. Okay, before I continue. Good afternoon. It's just cold.
Damn it. I was hoping it wouldn't curse me before it died. Yeah, that. That's why. going on. <laughs> oh, this thing's so awkward in the middle. Ah! <laughs> it's because I was cursed. Normally that wouldn't be a panic. Okay, curse is over. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go Lightning Fury here. Bait. Uh, may as well grab this to salt. Afternoon. even taking but whatever. Why must you run up front like that? It's <laughs> just... Ugh. Not very smart AI. Friendly. Okay, hold up. They're dying to play. It's pretty straightforward. I found a way forward. I mean, this is kind of like the point at which I need to decide, like, do I continue doing this now or not? I was gonna just make it to the waypoint and leave it. 
Because this next part, here's the thing, it's it's a commit. If I beat, let's say I beat the Ancients. The, it's another hour. Which, nah. I mean, how long have I been? Yeah, it's four hours and a half, alright, fine. And it's not it's just another it's another heart attack I have to go through. I've already survived one. Ah the cave, it's not where I need to be. I mean, I guess it's not necessarily an hour commit, but it's like... I imagine it will be. It just depends how easy the ancients are, like... They're not meant to be pushovers. Oh, fuck. Mag? What are you doing, Mag? At least these things die quickly. Okay. I'm hoping head in this general direction and we'll find it. What's here? It's not here. There it is. <laughs> I'm edging closer and closer to the f end here. Yes. Not in town. Good evening. Okay. Evening. I know what I know what to do. Not that. Not that. Like in the interest of making room. I need one more. What would it be? Magic find, I guess, temporarily. Yes. I oh, know, but I have another one that has 120 quantity. I already have one. Alright, so it's like 200 and whatever. 240 javelins, collectively, between the two.
And this is like a reset. If it gets cursed, don't do it, basically, is the logic. Any obnoxious aura, don't do it. Like, it's resetting until you get a fair fight. Reset. As soon as, as soon as that icon comes up, reset. That's that's the rule. Not here. How may I be of help? Can I help you? Immunities don't concern me because I have a way to break through it. They're not immune to plague ever, so that's fine. Ooh, right, slow. I forgot about slow. It's alright, should be okay. The follower's gonna die, there's no doubt about that. Keeps causing my targeting to go off. I might need to bring more javelins to the fight. Nope. Just be patient. This one's nearly dead. They're not focusing my... Okay, he should be dead. No. Oh, come on. He keeps fucking dodging it. Okay, there's one. Target the fucking Valkyrie, oh my god. He went aggro the Valkyrie. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh, they almost killed the follower. I'm trying to keep her alive because she is helping. Stop it! Okay, first lot of javelins nearly gone. Careful, we should be okay. Alright, that's two. Okay, quickly swap. Okay. I bait them. I'm surprised I didn't use more mana, but okay. I was right to bring, like, a second set of javelins. Yeah, we're not- probably not gonna do that today. I do need to find the next waypoint at the very least, and then it'll be the final push. I got enough scrolls. All right. Now, this is a fucking wild card because sometimes the start of this can be annoying. I'm going to take this very slow. Jesus, dude. It did that annoying thing it does. As long as they're dying. Yep, that's classic Diablo dick move. I mean, the conniption. Okay. Clean it up. Yeah, and I already gotta go back to town. That's, that's a, that's a start right there. Jesus, dude. That's what I was afraid of, like a scenario that I wouldn't be able to fight right away, and then I'd, I'd have to do the Ancients again. Okay, this goes back to storage. At your service. Mental. Oh, for fuck's sake. It really doesn't want me to progress. 
Look at this. Count the elites. Unbelievably obnoxious. I had the instinct to correct the first time, hide behind my summon. what curse me. I can't afford to uh take a melee hit from them. <laughs> Yep, okay, that's what it is. Have to go back again! <laughs> I can barely go, like, a room without having to go back. Okay. Not here. Was the elite. Okay, another one down. As long as we're targeting the elite and it doesn't move. Unfortunately, it's magic resistant, but eh. We'll go down. Down. And this was the way, alright. Okay, now I just need to find the waypoint, and then <laughs> that's it. But I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go for bail. I don't think. That's gonna, that's easily gonna take an hour. Not in town. Okay, portal down just in case things go to shit. At least it's not like the previous floor. It's... 
kind of bad because they poison. That could get really annoying. Oh, wow. Okay. It's like multi-poison. I'm gonna get poisoned. That's just a fact. See how lucky I am, eh? It's an extra fast one. Okay, you are dead. Alright, before we continue, let's go back. Afternoon. Thanks for lining up neatly in the corridor. Oh, no, 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 careful. Shit, it's immune to both. It's alright, the physical damage from this should get it. Megan! Thank you. Let's stop Megan's descent. Yeah, something's not good back there. shit. <laughs> cool, time to go back again. Can I help you? That was a good, like, solid minute of gameplay before I had to go back. Good afternoon. Target the Valkyrie. Dead end, dead end. All right, we're out. Yeah, I mean, this poison means, so let's just leave it alone. Well, I picked the wrong corridor, but... I suppose it doesn't matter, I just need to get out. Yep, that's, that's an elite right there. <laughs> I 
thanks for the whopping 42 months, Nick. That's like three years or something. Yeah, it's like... It's quite a bit. It's three and a half. How's it going? Yeah, it is. It's a lot of months. Oh, man. This has got a... There it is. I was gonna say, this has got to branch off now. Like, that has to be it. Because that other one kind of zigzagged. Now it's just a matter of, is this going to be it? It's it in, in the sense that it wants me to go to floor three, but we're not doing that. Like, I just want to find the waypoint, and <laughs> that's it. I've gotten past the two hardest parts now. It's just all that remains is the finale. I might act fuck, I might actually pull this off, like. The Neolithuck thing was only honestly the part that I was like, I could very well die there. Like he could just from outside of the boundaries of the screen just kill me. I've had that happen before when I was playing softcore. Not much, just chilling after work. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap up here shortly. I'll probably do four guys for a bit. I just want to make myself some noodles. But, this has gone well. I might succeed in my hardcore playthrough, <laughs> which I never expected, to be honest. It almost makes me want to play this, like, when the next ladder launches, just privately see how far I can get. Because if I've done this well, like, I can... And this is me going the choice of... Well, I guess it's not that it's been a bad choice. Like, I, I kind of went against using Lightning Fury, which is the farming build, but I think in terms of finishing the game, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, this worked pretty well overall. It's gotten me this far. It's gotta be a reason why. Valkyrie MVP. Like, I think... The thing to do if you're doing this is pretty much you gotta make the piece rune word as soon as possible. That's the number one piece of gear, and then that gives you a good frontliner. I did not get that, unfortunately. And I had to wait until my Valkyrie was high enough level, naturally. But ideally, that's what should happen. White point's just here, so... Okay, that's all the waypoints acquired. All that remains is the trek to the final fight, which I'm not going to do today. As it's been over five hours, but a good five hours nonetheless. You have Has it been over five hours? Alright, basically there. Not here. It's been a journey. Not here. Um, I guess looking at looking at my stats is not a, the only thing I could do would be to try and get Monarch, and that would give me plus two to all skills, and it would help. But other than that, like everything else is is farming, which I'm not planning on doing. All 
I can't believe I got through it. <laughs> like, yeah. I was expecting to die, but it worked. Alright. Save and exit. Okay. One way or another, next time I play this, this is gonna end. It's either gonna be I succeed or I die. So, just gonna have to tune in. It'll, it'll be tomorrow. I'll wrap it up tomorrow. After work. So, that'll be the plan. Tomorrow's the start of my long weekend, so I can uh, not worry about having to go to work the next day. So, I'll do something. Alright, hope you enjoyed.